All right, I can get you checked out, and I've got you checked in. She's gonna grab your chart right now. I just haven't had a chance to do it, okay? How's Patron doing? She's good. Keep these dogs healthier by keeping their mouths healthier. Good job, Gizmo. Good kitty. We are gonna send you home with a couple pain pills. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Dr. Oli. Hey, how's Bubba doing? He's nervous. Are we gonna whittle away on his toes again? Toes again and beak if you think he can handle it. Macaws are cool birds. They're smart and beautiful, but also pretty high maintenance pets. I see, look at him starting to shake. Oh. On Bubba and the Macaw's last visit, he got so worked up that Doc Oli couldn't trim his beak. And that thing is no joke. We'll tip that beak because yeah. it's getting kind of long, too. Macaws are flying bolt cutters. They got a big weapon up front, and they bite. When they bite hard, they can inflict a lot of damage. It's all right, baby. The more we wait, the more we torture him. Right. So whenever you are ready. All ready. We are ready. We're going to do both the beak and the nails today. Doing both procedures is a little scary for both Bubba and me, but Dr. Ole knows what Bubba can handle and what he can't. Okay. Hang in there, bud. All right, buddy. No, no, don't bite mommy. Please don't bite mommy, that hurts. Bubba is always very stressful, so the goal here is to go super quick. Normally, we let our techs restrain our patients, but in this case, he does better when mom is doing it for him. I adopted him when he was eight months old. Bubba came right over to me and looked at me, and we just looked at each other, and he just made sweet little sounds, and he stepped up on my arm, and he's been there ever since. All right, buddy. Okay, baby. This is kind of routine maintenance. In Bubba's case, we want to always minimize the time that we have him in our hands, obviously causing him stress. Hang in there, pard. It's OK. We're almost done. All right, buddy. OK, baby. It's OK, bud. It's OK. Yes, it's OK. Come on, pard. baby. I think the good veterinarian is one that tailors the treatment to the needs of the patient. Okay. All right, buddy. Okay, baby. We don't speak the same language. They don't tell me what they're feeling. They don't tell me where it hurts. So you got to read your patient so you know exactly the best way to provide treatment for them. Nobody's going to hurt the baby boy. Okay, we'll do the beak. And I'm just going to take, you now. that's about as far as it'll go. Okay. You made it. He made it. Again. Oh, he's already talking. How do those toes feel on your arm? Good. He handled it like a pro. He was panting a little bit, but nothing like he's done before. I was impressed. All right, see you in three, OK? Three weeks, Dr. Right. Oli. Thank you that so much. great. Thank you. Say bye, Dr. Oli. <laughs>